please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Storing XML files into a Microsoft SQL Server database using Python can be a useful way to manage structured data within your database. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through the process step by step, complete with code examples. Before you begin, make sure you have the following prerequisites in place. Python, make sure you have Python installed on your system. You can download and install it from the Python website. SQL Server, you should have a Microsoft SQL Server instance set up and running. SQL Server Management Studio, SSMS this is optional, but it can be helpful for managing your SQL Server database. You can download it from the Microsoft website. Pyod Library, you'll need the Pyod Library to interact with SQL Server from Python. You can install it using pip. Create a SQL Server database and table. First, you need to create a database and a table in your SQL Server instance to store the XML data. You can do this using SSMS or by running SQL commands. Here's an example SQL command to create a table. Python code to store XML in SQL Server. Now, let's write Python code to read an XML file and store it in the SQL Server database. We'll use the Pyod library for this. Replace the placeholders with your SQL Server connection details. Run the Python script. Save the Python script and run it. It will read the XML file and store it in the SQL Server database. Verify data. You can use SSMS or any other SQL client to query the database and verify that the XML data has been stored. Make sure the Pyod library is installed, and the required ODBC driver is available on your system. Ensure you replace the placeholders in the code, server, database, username, and password, with your SQL Server connection details. Make sure the XML file exists at the specified path. You can modify the code to handle error cases and provide appropriate error handling. This tutorial covers the basic steps to store XML files in a SQL Server database using Python. Depending on your specific use case, you may need to extend the code to handle more complex scenarios and error handling. ChatGPT